Knee replacement is becoming more common for people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. A new technology is making it easier for doctors to perform the surgery tailored to their patients' needs. Who's a better tennis player? Me. <laughs> Tracy Cooper and her friend Tracy Johnson are rivals on the tennis court. But off the court, they're best buds. Both are recovering from bilateral knee surgery together. There's no pain anymore at all. Like, I can sleep through the night and not worry about, no, it's great. Dr. David Anderson, orthopedic surgeon at Menorah Medical Center, says he's seeing more women with knee arthritis earlier on. We're starting to see it more in the 40s now, but really the 50s and 60s is where we start to see that for most patients. Dr. Anderson performed robotic knee surgery on both women. The technology provides a patient-centered experience. He says 3D modeling is the next step in patient care and it's revolutionary. So we take the, all the patient factors into the knee before we make a single change to the knee. So that allows us to adapt an off-the-shelf implant with a lar large variety for that particular patient, make it last very long. Replacements are lasting longer too, compared to the 90s. The modern plastics, which is the part that wore out previously, should last and are appearing to last longer than what we had in the late 90s and before. We think these will last 20 to 30 years based on our laboratory studies of these. Typical recovery time is 6 to 12 weeks, and at nearly six months out, Tracy is just about ready to get back on the tennis court. Now I'm walking with no pain and playing. We did a little bit of hitting, and we were playing, and it did not hurt at all. Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News. For more information, you can go to our website, kctv5.com slash HCA Midwest.